Hello, welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Um, as you can see, we're in a camper. This is Alliance Avenue, 32 RLS. And so far, we're loving it. Had it out on two trips. And when we got back Sunday, Vicki came out to get some things out of the freezer. And she opened the door up. And a screw fell from up in here. Just fell down, then onto the floor. She told me about it. I checked it out. Another screw here. Just hanging there. I just poked it and it fell out. <clears throat> so what it is, is this holds the top of the refrigerator in. It goes into this board, which is particle board. So I went around the back to the access and the vent. And you can see the board's all ripped apart. So I got two options. I can either yank the whole fridge out. Or plan B. Plan B worked pretty good. I'm going to show you what we did here. Okay, give me a minute to get outside and I'll show you what we did. Okay, we're outside. There's the uh, top vent. There's the bottom vent. And I looked in here. They have some plates in here to direct the heat. I just wish this came down more. Let's see if I can get this to come down. We got this, trying to blow the air over the coils. So let me turn this around. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see in here. If at all. I know I'm having trouble seeing on a camera. But we put a 2x4 across there on this side of that um, bulkhead or whatever you want to call it. We cut it 35 inches long by two and three quarter high. And I put the cut I put the cut end down so that it's uh, nice flat sits in there. I took a we get outside. I took a uh, piece of one by and tapped it into place seems pretty solid I also put some fuse it on to hold it into place so I'm gonna let that set up for a little bit then I'm gonna have Becky come in I'm gonna hold the board I'm gonna pre-drill up in there I got a long eighth inch bit and I'm gonna have Becky run some screws in at least to get it started then I'll come in and finish it but uh, it seems a lot easier um, it's better than yanking out the whole fridge so we're gonna I'm gonna let that set up for a little bit and we'll come back for the uh, screw insult install okay see you in a minute okay that's the screws they added that's the screws they added in uh, one inch I'm putting a two inch deck screw and I used uh, I don't know, it's six inch eight inch eighth inch bit draw up in there so let's go ahead and get this one done. We can see it out. Okay, as long as I did, I need a light up in there. A little tab up there to go through with a hole in it. This went on an angle. Right. I can tell it was in something solid. And you'll you'll need a extended bit to get up in there. Whether you, this is Torx, whether you're using square head or Phillips, whatever. And the flashlight to see the hole. Okay, that's it. It is. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, that beats uh, ripping out the whole fridge. I looked at it. it doesn't seem that hard to rip out. Uh, there's two screws in front, two screws in the back. You gotta disconnect the propane line and your 110 and 12 volt power. 
but uh, this seemed a lot better option. I just got a six foot ladder out there. I used a, a cut down, ripped down a two by four, 35 inches long. I ripped it down to two and three quarter, put some fuses on it to hold it in, and it uh, it held it up pretty good. So, all right, so thanks for checking it out. Um, I'll have a few more things coming out here shortly. So, y'all have a good day. See ya. All right, we're going to give you a little bonus footage with this. I've been going over a lot of the wiring, and uh, we had a, I forget what it was, 2013, 2014 Freedom Express. Checked it out when we picked it up. Everything was running good. We got it home. The lights didn't work. Interior lights didn't work. So I pulled down one of the pot lights, the LED lighting, pulled down one of the pot lights, and they stripped about that much insulation off the wire, then crept them. So I went over all the pot lights. That's all the problem was. It was no big deal. But this is something I found while I was looking at the refrigerator. I don't know how well you can see that, but see the wire's not, uh, that's a good picture. The wire's not twisted up good. So I'm, I'm gonna redo them. It's just little, little things like that I find that I like to correct. That, that creates heat. And uh, heat and wiring is no good. Yeah, see, see how they see how they twisted that wire up. It's not a lie. It's not alliance. All uh, manufacturers are like that. That's actually probably too long. I might have to get a pair of side cutters here. Yeah. See. Can't get around your paws. <laughs> Yeah, see that wire is way too long. So I'm gonna go and get a pair of side cutters. My lovely assistant's gonna stand here and make sure that wire doesn't touch anything. All right, we'll cut that down to length. Retwist. Yeah, I was changing uh, the USB chargers in here aren't the best. They're only 1.2 1, 1. volts or something like that. Amps, I mean. So I bought new ones, and when I pulled the one out, the wire... Right, you can stay, stay on here. The wire came right out of the uh, crimp that they used. So we'll get that one done. Let's do this one real quick. Hold on. Oh uh, yeah, let me do this one. Yeah, anytime I see anything like this, I like to take care of it while I'm thinking about it. Um, like uh, the batteries, the dealer put them in and every connection was loose on them. Some of them hand tightened to the point that you didn't need a wrench or anything to take the nut off. They probably get uh, the guy that cleans up the shop to put the batteries in, so. Okay. And tighten this one up. I'll check out the ones on the bottom. Turn the fridge on, make sure it works. Okay, they all look good, but I'm going to tighten them up just in case. We'll make sure all your fittings are good and tight. And that looks about it in here. I, I took the cover off earlier, make sure everything was all right there. Everything looks good, so a little bonus video for you.
All right, so came in, got the fridge running. She'll be happy. She gets nervous when I do things. I'm not allowed to drill holes in certain areas. I want to put uh, LED lightings on, on the front cap, and she's not having it. So, all right, thanks for watching, and thanks for checking it out with me. Bye.